it's burger time because I want to get all the burgers out of the way before Christmas and then I don't have to think about burgers in the new year for you see people have said to me Stuart did you know that rustlers do burgers and things that you just put straight in the microwave like you buy it off the shelf in the box and you just put the box straight in the microwave and I was like no sir I did not. So I've got a couple to look at. In theory, they do three of these. There's also like a cheeseburger melt thing. Couldn't find those anywhere. Don't seem to be stocked in any shops at the moment, but there certainly are. All day breakfast sausage muffins with cheese and brown sauce. This was part of a Tesco meal deal. Hooray. Uh, and uh, made with 100% British and Irish pork, crisping sleeve. Yay. So hopefully it won't be too soggy. And, and that's it. You just buy this and put it in the microwave. Let the box do the work. No need to open box for cooking. Place box in microwave. Heat for 1 minute 40 seconds. Hear a pop. It's just cooking. OK. Caution. Hot product. Leave for 2 minutes. Remove wrapper and crisping sleeve. Enjoy. Ah. So, yeah. Sausage muffin with cheese and brown sauce. Just in a box. I tell you what. Let's sneak it open and have a look anyway. Just a matter of interest. Then I'll seal it up again and all will be well with the world. Except I can't seem to get this off. Nope, we've managed it. Right. Oh yeah, it's in a plastic bag, sealed quite a thick plastic bag. There's the crisping glover, sorry, the crisping sleeve. And there's your sausage thingamajig. Yep, looks more sausage from that direction, not that you can really see it on camera. Right, let's pop that back in. Close this up with the tab of dreams. Get in there. And it's all ready to go, right. I'm going to stick this in the microwave, which I will be showing you now. For you see, I have cooked it for 1 minute 40 and left it for 2 minutes, so we should now be in proper burger territory. Yep, it's got a sweaty bag. Always good. Oh, it's still very hot. Um, open this carefully over here, actually, because I don't want to get saucers on the sofa, which sounds like an amazing Netflix series, but is not what we want at the moment. Ooh, hot, heated, etc. Right, out of your crisping sleeve. There we go. And, oh. Oh no! The bu oh, God. Oh, bloody hell. This is a bit fiddlier than I imagined. Right. Bag goes there. I want to rip the crisping sleeve apart. <laughs> bloody hell. This is stuck to it because of the sauce, I think. Ow! Still hot. Ow, ow, ow. This has now got stuck on the. Oh, bloody hell. This has turned into a bit of a mare, isn't it? Right. Uh, whoop. There we are. Hoopla. Hey, Jingo. We've done it. Look at that. It's kind of looks like a muffin with a sausage in it, which is what you want. So, um, yeah, no problems there. But what does it taste like? I'm slightly worried it's still incredibly hot. Um, yes, it is. Ah, can't pick it up. Right, two minutes is not long enough to leave it. I shall give it another minute and a half or so. Jump cut, and there we go. Right, hopefully this is slightly less scorchio now. No, so it's still very hot, bloody hell. Okay, so the cheese has melted in, and yeah, there's sauce and all that. Let's give it a bite and see what we can taste. Mm. Uh, okay. Taste the sauce, definitely. I'm not going to say the crisping sleeve was 100% successful, but it's much better than ones without them. It'd still be much better to take it apart and put those in the um, toaster, but to be fair, the whole point of this is you just stick the box in the microwave and away you go. So, um, Slightly sort of... Going back to use the word sweaty, I'm afraid, taste of that. Um, I can't really taste any of the sausage, but it, hang on, I'm just going to eat a bit of the sausage off it. Oh, handily, it has poked itself out. Uh, um, oh, the sausage is mostly tasteless. Slightly sort of... Yes, yeah, slightly sort of sweaty tasting, slightly spiced. No, I'm being very, very um, sensitive there. It's not tasting of much at all. That's a bit crap, to be honest. Um, yeah, the sausage ruins that, for it does not taste of much at all. It's only the sauce that gives that much flavour. Very weak. I'm unimpressed, but hopefully, now that we jump cut to the next one, it will be much better. Boom! Peri Peri chicken tenders, apparently. Um, the cheekiest of Nando's. Uh, or oh, incidentally, when you cook these in the microwave, yes, they do go pop. But only the once. So, uh, ah, in fact, they're making a thing of it. Look, pop, cook in the box. All that means you should cook your father in a box, which sounds like a bad idea. Don't do that, please, folks. Right, crisping sleeve again. Yep, so it's basically a couple of its chicken with peri peri sauce. 
100% chicken breast, a source of protein. Yes, thank you for that. And there we are, nice and simple. This one only takes, uh, oh no, it's a little bit longer actually. This one, 1 minute 50 in a 900 watt microwave such as mine. And then leave two minutes and blah, blah, blah. But you'll never guess what, folks. I've already cooked it! Ha ha! You can't tell on camera. Yep. In fact, he has just done the... Well, I left it for three minutes, actually, after the heat of the last one. So I should be able to open it and get stuck straight in. Mmm. Or burn my fingers horribly, because I haven't left it long enough. Let's find out. Ooh, that's clearly the pop, isn't it, where the bag goes. This looks like more of a thing. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah, it looks a bit more scrumptious than uh, the last one. But the proof of the pudding is in the eating, and the same goes for burgers, obviously. Right, it's very beige. There's your sauce in the middle. Oh god, that is so hot, actually. Um, there's your bits of chicken, and there's your bun. I mean, it does what it says on the tin, doesn't it? Or more to the point, the cardboard box. Right, let's have a bite and see what the peri-peri sauce is like. Oh, ah, god, how is this still so hot? God, I've left it for like nearly four minutes. Oh. Um, right, we're gonna have to give it another 30 seconds or so. And there we are. Right, you didn't wonder if I'm slightly overcooking them with their times, because they come out so hot. Right, let's have a bite. Ha <laughs> ha. Mm. So, sauce is good, tangy, a little bit spicy, a little bit of a kick to it, which is good. As you'd expect from the chicken, it's quite watery. Um, yeah, not terrible, but uh, it's considerably better than the sausage. It does taste of something. Though not that much, admittedly. Hmm. Uh, yeah, there's a little bit of spiciness to the coating, I think, but most of that's coming from the sauce. Yeah, that's quite pleasant. The sauce makes this, as is true of many of these microwave things, but um, yeah, that's a much better bet. I think, than the sausage muffin thing. If you are in a Tesco and you want the meal deal and you want one of these cardboard things you stick straight in your microwave, this is my recommendation over the other one by a considerable margin. Or maybe if you can get the cheese melt burger, they're all right. Dunno, couldn't find one. It will forever remain a mystery. Meatless Maverick! Yes, you know, like the guy from Top Gun. It is a classic burger with cheese and our signature sauce. So 100% flavour, 0% beef, plant-based patty. So I don't know if you've been um, keeping up with this stuff, but they make remarkably good um, vegan burgers along these lines now from companies like uh, Beyond Burger and Moving Mountains, is that one? I've had several and they're all pretty good. They have a slightly different texture to me and a slightly different flavour, as one would expect. But they're really good. So I'm hoping that A, this is pretty good, and B, this actually goes through a microwave better than the actual beef, because it's usually the meat that lets these things down, isn't it? So maybe that will get around it. I don't know. We are going to find out. Um, something I do find odd, though, uh, checking the ingredients on the back, it's a slice of normal cheese. If they'd made it vegan cheese, the whole thing would be vegan, I think. But no, um, it is vegetarian friendly, but not vegan. So uh, if you are vegan and thinking about getting one, uh, throw the cheese away. Right, uh, how to cook Karoo burger from packaging, blah, blah, blah. It's just pop on the toaster, heat patty for one minute, 30 seconds, stand for 30 seconds. Couldn't be much easier, really, could it? Something I spotted was that this had a much shorter best before date than the others. Um, this one goes out of date tomorrow at the time of filming, um, whereas the others have got like a week or more left at least, but so that could just be down to the um, batch this came from or something, and may not be that the plant stuff has less of a shelf life. I don't think it is, to be honest, because if that's true, the plant stuff has less of a shelf life than the meat, and that seems incredibly unlikely. Right, let's open it up and have a bit of a squeeze. It doesn't say it's like from Beyond Burger or anything like that, so I think it's their own uh, thing. Oh yeah, it doesn't look like a Beyond Burger. It looks a bit, um, looks a bit mashed pea, which is what it is to be fair, so it's not a problem, but um, it doesn't look as exciting as one of those. Burger and cheese, all your standards. Right, I'm going to go and heat this up, then I'll bring it back, then I'll eat a bit, and then I'll tell you if it's any good or not. Well, there we are, in all its glory. Um, it's looking kind of slightly dry in the middle and not on the outside, so it's quite typical for a microwave burger in that sense. Um, interestingly, I don't know why, but that's presumably because it's plant-based, I thought it wouldn't be particularly greasy once cooked, but I was wrong. It was quite an oily boy. Maybe that's a good sign. I don't know. I'm about to bite into it, and then I'll tell you what I think. Hmm. Oh. Mmm, it's not up to much, to be honest. I would have said, in fact. Um, 
Yeah, and that's kind of uh, not quite as good as the meat stuff, really. Oh, this seems like a wasted opportunity. That's a shame. I'm going to try just a bit of the um, patty thing on its own. Yep. Ow. <laughs> Yeah, I mean it's not unpleasant or anything, but yeah, there's not much to it, um, and the con yeah, the texture, the flavour is nowhere near as good as one of the um, sort of high-end vegan burgers. Not a patch on them, I'm afraid. That is a disappointment. It really does feel like a missed opportunity. That one. I feel like they could have, yeah, I don't know, got one of the... Maybe they're too expensive at the moment. I don't know, but um, yeah, that's not a recommendation. However. It is not the only meatless maverick. Pyoing! We also have chick un fillet. For it's not a chicken, it is a chick un. For it is again a plant based patty of a different sort. Um, does not contain lettuce or onion. The last one did not contain tomato. Serving suggestions in it. Um, yeah, with V or with vegan mayo this time. So potentially you could eat this if you're vegan. Is there anything else on the back? Mm. Looks like you might be able to double check that though, folks, because I am. Oh, yes, no, it's got a big vegan sticker. We're all right. <laughs> if you are vegan and you want one of these, you are all right with this. But to be honest, the burger one wasn't very good anyway. This is a bad start. Right. It's all right, we're in. Yeah. And we've got a typical long bun. There is your bit of. I mean, it looks exactly like chicken. And there's your vegan mayo down the bottom there. Hmm, interesting. Right, let's jump cut to having cooked it and all that. And here we go. So it looks exactly like you would expect, to be perfectly honest, a chicken burger and a long bun with mayonnaise on to look. Funny that. But as we say, it is entirely plant based. The bun's come out all right. Mind you, I did toast it, so it should do really, shouldn't it? Right, I'm going to bite the end off it and uh, see what enjoyment happens. Mm. Um, mayo's quite good. Wouldn't have known that was vegan mayo. And mm, slightly chickeny flavour to the chick. <laughs> You're not going to believe what I'm going to say in a minute, but um, just to show you, it does look very chickeny. Um, okay. Seems a very similar bread crumb, cr bread crumb coating to the peri peri one, though obviously the sauce is different. Um, okay. This is an odd observation, but it's true. This has a better chicken texture than the chicken did, which sounds mad, but the chicken was quite sort of watery and a bit spongy, whereas this actually has a bit more of a firmer texture and seems more like regular chicken as a result. That's genuinely quite impressive. Um, and the flavour's not bad either. This is probably... Mm, I think I preferred the peri-peri one purely because of the peri-peri sauce. But I think as um, the overall burger thing goes, this is probably today's best one. I'm going to take another bite. Mm. Mm -hmm -hmm. Um, yeah. I'm not entirely sure I would have known that wasn't chicken. I think I'd have known if it was like served in a restaurant or something, but when it's something out of a microwave, as compared to the microwave chicken burgers, yeah, that's good. Far more impressive than the um, burgery one. The burgery one can get in the bin. This can get on the shelf. That's much better. Oh, well, there we are. Um, interesting. The vegan option is probably the best one. It's certainly the best one out of the two vegetarian options available. Um, the sausage muffin thing was just a bit crap, to be perfectly honest with you. Um, the peri-peri thing is all about the sauce. The sauce is good. So there we go. Now we can all have a jolly Merry Christmas and not have to worry about burgers. Oh God, I can't afford the heating! Right, boy, boy.